Hello everyone, and welcome. We should be good to go here in just a couple seconds. Get everything... And, oh, you can't see me. Y'all should have seen me there. There we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. That all sounds pretty good to me. Just waiting on the, um, I was a bit late, and um, just waiting on my opponent to get back to me for the link. I sent them a new link. Hope everyone's having a good evening so far. Good afternoon, good morning, whoever you are in the, where you are in the world. Definitely muted for that. Um, but the how it works is it was um, they're all 90, 90 plus SAS decks, um, and they were all drafted. I chose mine to do random, and I ended up with uh, Clark the mechanically calculating. Lovely name, I think that's a that's a great name for an Archon. Um, and this is the this is the beast itself. Uh, 9.8 amber control, no artifact control to speak of, 24 expected amber, 7.1 creature control, 20 speed, uh, 1.4 recursion, and it looks like our opponent is in the match. So the breakdown is uh, 29 logos, 32 Saurian, and 27 star lines, with an orb of wonder as a anomaly in star lines. Where 
Where are you, Clark? Perfect. So we'll see. I don't know what's there. So they've got Mr. Fallahammer Branch. I know that's probably not how you pronounce that, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. Um, I hit start game and we can let them go to Mulligan. We're first turn player. I don't mind getting the Trimium Pompidus down right away. We'll keep. We'll go Sarin. I was going to look at their deck. Um, so they got Mindfire. It's a double waking nightmare. Well, the damned. It's good removal. Gateway to Dis. Pain Reaction. Essence Skill. So I have to keep an eye out for that. And an Infernus. No way to record that right now. It does have an Ultra Gravitron. Um, BDQ, Lethalogica, Eclectic Inquiry, Sloppy Lab Work, Bot Bookton, it's got a Cronus, that's kind of, that way is gross. Should have enough C for that though. 3 Subdue is going to be annoying. Uh, double Subject Kirby, Teleport Chief Tank, Army Officer Nell, Stalster, Axe Denied, Blast Shielding Observe you Max. Looks interesting. The Ultra Gravitron is going to be really annoying. What do they start with? Stalster, I'm going to now to draw a card. Teleport Chief Tink. Intriguing. So what we could do here is, I think I want to go Star Alliance and just put a elusive on. Yeah, I think. Cause get the hologram phone down. So I think we'll go Star Alliance. We will actually get this down. I'll ward the Ingram. Get the Kirby down. Hey Zoc. Thank you, thank you. I'll need it. Put the clucking dongle here to give um, what will be an e die on the left of this taunt. Play his homogramophone. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. Screen is not showing game. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Well, hopefully that, uh... Thanks, Joe. Yeah, and thank you, Zach, as well. There we go. That should that should show it now. That is my bad. Professional streamer, by the way. Um... Okay. Well, I'll let everyone digest the game state for a second. Um... How it started off was I played Trimmy Tom Pompadus out first. Um, I had a, I had Cloaking Dongle, Kirby, and Ingram in hand, as well as the Hologramophone, Edai, and Replicator. That was a starting hand. I was first player, played the Trimmy Tom Pompadus first, then they, and they played Army Officer Nell, Stelster, and Teleport Chief Tink. After that, I played out the Star, Star Alliance, playing the Hologramophone off of the Kirby, and putting the Dongle onto the Kirby as well to give the Ingram and Kirby's elusive. Um, they responded with... Infernus, Lycofiend, and Cinder. Uh, and they purged their own Waking Nightmare. So. And they capture one off the thing on Cinder. 
So here we'll go Logos. And yeah, we'll get the Edai down. And we're going to archive the Shrix. And then after that, we'll get that down. Get the fetch drones down, and we'll um, ward our Edai. So we've got a pretty big Logos board already. So they play Essence Scale, they can dominate our Bobble, their Teleport Chief Tink. Wait, that's an action though, right? Is it even used? Is it even worth it? No. It's not worth it. Will of Dam destroy Calm Officer Kirby. Hmm, I wonder if it would have been worthwhile to award the Kirby there. Possibly. Probably, because it did have the Cloaking Dongle on it. So what do we do here? I kind of inclined to go Logos again. So what are we trying to do? They're not on key, so... Other chances we go... Star Alliance. Star Alliance would give us... One, two, three, four damage. And three Amber. So it could kill our tank. They don't have any recursion, right? No. So I'm actually okay, probably okay to probably good to kill the um Infernus, get the essence scale um. Yeah, that's the skill automatic with this. Well, probably better off killing the the Armory officer now, then at that point. Um, we'll call Logos, we'll get the Edai worded again. Won't take the archives. I do want to, I do want to hapsis. What I'll do is I'll reap, do this, and I'll word the hapsis. I'm just gonna reap with daughter anyways. I will fight into this infernus. Okay. And so first we'll tau tau and we'll tuck away that tertiate. We'll tau tau and we'll tuck away the Imperium. Um, I think it's actually probably worth code monkeying here and re and getting the Edai down. So play this, deploy left. Get the Edai down here and tuck away the Oduak. Use that to ward here. Do we have any Logos left? I think we just fine. I think no need, no need for um. Okay, let's subdue. Subduing the Hapsis. And then here, I 
Here we could have a. I think we wanted. We actually. We'll just go. St so we could. Go, we can't go Logos again, right? We can go Star Alliance. Say no. What do I want to ward? Um. Yeah, so we'll get the Kinkin down. And I will attach Kinkin's Blaster here. So this will be doing more attach that, and I will archive our Code Monkey again. Um, so we can zap. Deal one, two, one, two. Okay. Can zap again. So we could actually fight. So we could fight to kill the cinder. Um, and reward the Ingram. And attach here and archive our code monkey. Or we could get to eight. Um, I think I'm okay. We'll fight. We'll redo that. We medic Ingram first. We ward. Then we do this, and we move it here. We do that. Then we move back over. So they call this again, because they can they can reap steal one with the Lyco fiend. Pain reaction. Two. Okay. So we forge blue. So are we here for the giant Saurian turn? I think we are. So you can get one. So you can play Tertiate, which will, we can kill. Oh, Tertiate kind of sucks though, doesn't it? That all sucks. Um, what are you drawn into? Trying to do a lot more Saurian. Maybe now is actually a good Logos turn. It's a tough one. Star Alliance isn't bad to either, too, though. We'll go Star Alliance. Say no. We'll just reap. Um. Can warm the pompadus. It'll it will matter. Cloaking dongle the Ingram. Get that down. Okay. And the Raider Gallum here is. Yep. So Raider Gallum. So here we do Saurian. So we say Saurian, we take the archives. Now let me think about this. So first we can tertiate. Select that. We just kill her on Hapsis. Um this will get unstunned every time. So next it's Shrix over here. And we'll exalt. It's an Odoac. It's a Legatus Raptor. It's a Raider Gallum. It is a Ancient Power. 
It is an Imperium. The fully worded board. Our next draws are that. We currently have one, two. So I could actually just crack this while we're about to redraw. Get Tribute. Tribute. Oh, Shrix is not the highest power, damn it. Oh, that would have been really good. I could have fangled that so Shrix was the highest power and forge with that. That was a misplay. Yeah, that's a misplay. Because I could have done that. That would have been sick. Otherwise, we get 5 off Tribute. You know what? Maybe we can still finagle that next turn. So we'll, um... We'll actually end turn here. Not a check. I understand I'm not a check, but perhaps there's a way to... We'll forge red. So we forge our second key. I wonder if we can Imperial Forge now. No. But I think what we'll do is we'll call Logos enemy creature. That's so annoying. But anyways, we can go Logos... Oh, yeah, yeah, this is nice, this is nice. So we go Logos, we'll Code Monkey here. Um, put this creature, deploy left. Just we'll put that. We will Replicator on the left. Conthorium Plasmate. Hologramophone, our Tribune. And we'll leave our Ober of Wonder in that in case we don't draw that for whatever reason. And turn those two up. <laughs> Sweat alerts. We don't redraw, so that's actually that's actually um Okay, so can we win here? Call Saurians. I think we can, right? Cause we can we can reap and exalt. Yeah, and we can tribute. Tribute here, yes. Tribute can reap, exalt, fight here, exalt, reap. We can just ward our Shrix. Hell, ancient power, Imperial Forge. Use all of it. GG. Awesome. So a rematch here. Nice. That went pretty well. Did you want first or second? Thank you. Yeah, the um the I love the Imperial Forge in this deck. It's so flexible. I I could have won I could have done the key earlier with um the Shrix. If I had just not played, um, if I didn't, if I played the, if I cracked the Overwonder before I did the Tribute, 
uh, before I played Odoak, I could have uh, tributed onto Shrix there, and that would have been nice. But it all worked out in the end, anyways. But no, very nice. Oh, I've got no one in my game. It says no one. have to leave. <laughs> um, make a new match. I sent them a new game link. Where are you, Clark? And now you can see the game from the beginning. So look at that, we're improving every step of the way. The deck actually looks really interesting. This might be a bad matchup because of all the warding. They've got stuff like the they've got like stuff like the subdues and the red alerts to pop it. Just one red alert. I think they it does seem like they do sort of struggle. Um into big board wipes. They're ultra gravitron also did not, you know didn't really get a chance to stick around. Oh, well, that's not really what I want to see. That's probably okay. I can just archive the tribute. No question is do we logos or tau tau vapor? Do I tau tau vapors first? That's about the same, right? Call logos and we'll get the daughter down. I'm inclined to say the daughter is a better turn one card than the tau tau vapors. So the Tata Vapors is going to have the same effect regardless, but the daughter at least gave me allow me to reap next turn. Ooh, early red alert. It's perfect for me. Don't mind seeing that at all. So I think we're happy to go logos again here. Tata Vapors, and we will tuck away the Tribute, or do you want to tuck away the Tertiate? I think we'll tuck away the Tribute. Play the Data Forge, get that down, get that down. And here, probably gonna go Star Alliance. I, I kinda wanna just keep handcrafting, pain reaction. Mmm, that sucks. Imperium's a good hit there. Um, but here, yeah, we're definitely forcing the star lines regardless. Um, get the Kirby down. I'll get the. No, I 
go get the blasters there. I won't play anything off the Kirby to me. We need creatures. Fundamentally, we need creatures. Discard a half of Ultra Gravitron. Man, okay. All right, here we'll go Star Alliance. Or right, I guess we can go Logos. We'll go Logos. Say no. Draw two cards and archive, and we'll archive the Peel Forge with the Tribute. Get the Edai down. Archive the Tertiate. fairly happy about that. I don't necessarily, I don't, I care more about archiving those cards and getting them away, tucked away for later than I do about this specific Edai living. Are they gonna kill this Edai with subdues? I oh, don't know, they still have to fight with army officer now. Okay. So we can't take them off, but we can go Star Alliance. So I want walls first. Play walls. Do that. Take um Click Cloaking Dongle. Get the orb. Orb down really nice early is really nice. Go with that. Get the hologram of foam down. Get the cloaking dongle. This is a deck where Com Officer Kirby is genuinely Like, damn, the Calm Officer Kirby here is doing, uh, has done a ton of work in this deck. Uh, funnily enough, it's brought a hologramophone twice, two games in a row now. Okay, okay. Yep, this board is looking like a board. They discarded, gave it a diss. Hmm. Well, I think we're pretty happy to go Saurians. I think I need a Tertiate here. This board will get away from me. So I'll think about this for two seconds. I wonder if it's worth it, worth it to get tricks here. No, because I don't have enough amber. But I think it is worth keeping the Tribute and Imperial Forge in hand, probably. Um, so first we'll play Tertiate. So we'll destroy. Okay, that's one. Two, three. So we'll destroy Torado and we'll destroy Kirby. And we'll destroy Kirby. And then it's Roak, Ligatus Raptor. Um, is there a key cost? Why are key costs so high? Oh, we can name here, that's right. Ancient power. Oh, there's a Pompidus. Uh, so if we play our cards right, we can theoretically make Shrix our biggest. Oh, there's this coming. Okay. There he discarded a half of, um... Yeah, okay. GG. Not actually GG, but...
Do we forge? Oh, they just crashed and scale off it. Got it. Why did we lose one? Oh, observe your max. Okay. Okay. Why did that not? Oh, they redrew. So here we go, Saurian. And here we'll crack over Wonder. And we'll take Shrix. It's just one card, right? A card. Yeah. So we'll get... Shrix down. We'll exalt Shrix. Again. I'll fight here into the Cronus. We'll do this. We'll exalt. Reap. Exalt. Tribune Pompidus. Shrix is the biggest tribute. We'll reap. We'll forge. Spending five for red. Pass it back. That key? Wow, that key was entirely free. That feels so good. And it killed the Cronus. Purging my Shrix. Oh, that's right. Shrix is supposed to go next to the cloaking dongle. Silly me, but... Regardless. Right, it still would have purged Shrix with the Ultra Gravitron. Oh, well, the Damn could have got you. Oh, it's Bouncing Death Quark, too. Pretty good. Oh, they kill Ultra Gravitron. My dude, my, my dude. Look, just don't kill the two Star Alliance creatures so I can archive them to Code Monkey. No can do. We'll forge blue. Well, here we will call Logos. And... First, they have to share a house, right? Yeah, I want to gain two. Oh, so I can't. Okay, we can archive. Okay, so we'll archive Hapsis. Yeah, okay. So down goes Hapsis, down goes Edai. We archive the Zap. Hologramer fan the Edai. Play Code Monkey to play left. Remember? It's none of that, none of that. I could fetch Jones, but I don't really want to. So we'll tax them for two. But other than that, I think um, I think we're out of the out of the race. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a lot of draws. Um, Edo's dead, eh? 
Oof. Um. So we could theoretically fetch drones here. But it doesn't take us off. Galsarian. Play the gallon, play that. GG. Yep, we just got, we did, lost the race. Try that rematch feature again? No, yeah, got kicked again. I don't know what's going on with the um, TCO bug there, but. Yeah, making it exciting. I know. Going to, to going to game three, all the content. Guys are getting your not your your free money's worth. Let's hope. I really uh, let's hope Clark can take it home. The uh, Clark so far has won the first game and lost the second game, both matches. Let's hope we can break or we continue that trend, but we'll buck the trend of losing the third game. We'll win this one. Damn. Damn, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll keep. So here we're gonna logos. First we're gonna tau tau. Tuck away that. Thorium plasmage. Socks, do that, do that on the left. Archive that. Gonna code monkey. Not bad overall, not bad. Early bouncing death cork just to kill that is. Don't tell me you have the thing right now. The problem, part of the problem is that it's really, really hard for this deck to. Um... So they just took it into their hand but didn't play it. Intriguing. It's really hard for this deck to just like deal with um, Ultra Gravitron. So if that comes down, it makes the whole game different. So we'll call Star Alliance. We'll take the archives. We'll get Kirby out to bring out the hologramophone for a third time. Um, Ingram here. Here we'll ward Kirby again. To steal two damage there. Playing fast and loose here. So I think we do call Logos, take the Archives, Logos, take the Archives, get the Fetch Drones down, I want to get the Edai down, I want to tuck away the Tribute, yep, get the Daughter down, get the Hapsis down, get the Replicator down, Ward our Edai. Have doomed our Edai.
Give it a disc, okay. So here. Yeah, I guess we just go Saurian. Kind of just have... Um, wait, we just... Kind of just need to see our other cards. So I think we're happy to just go Saurian. I'm going to take our archives. With the Polyosaurus, we'll get the Legatus Raptor down. We'll go up to check ourselves. Going to check there is also important because I, I I do want to um, force a response from them. If we can forge first to and be a little bit ahead of tempo, that'd be really nice. Carry down for the Torado. That really sucks. Okay, we do forge. Um. Hmm. So here I think we go Star Alliance. We'll put the walls down. We'll put a cloaking dongle down on walls. We'll put Kinkin's Blaster down on walls as well. So what are they purging? So they purge ancient power, ancient power. Okay, so that makes my life hard. So here I do think we can actually just go logos. Say no. We'll reap here. Tau Tau. And I'll tuck away the forge again. Hologramophone on our E die. And um no, we will not fetch drones. Um but we'll just tax them really nicely there for eight. Yeah. I knew that Edai was not long for the world. Oh damn, we really can't I really can't we need to tertiate now then. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Essence scale, sack of Kirby to reap with that. Yeah. Gross. Okay, we can call Saurian. Pretty reasonably. Saurian, we won't take our archives. Um, what we'll do is we'll unstun. We can do this, warding both of these. Play Tertiate. Choose Ultra Gravitron and Professor Torado. We'll just choose um, the guess Raptor. They're pretty difficult to deal with. Um, we can get Raider Gallum down next to the Elusive. Yeah, they choose Logos. They're going to take their archives. Yep. But they do... Okay. 
Paper spot booked in. Sloppy lab work. Um. Yeah, they just go to seven. Christ, okay, okay. We'll go Starlance. Say no. Um. No, because you got Kinkin's Blaster on there, and I think I want to archive the Reader Gallum. Do I re. Do I know? Or I don't know. I don't know. I guess you want to do two damage and deal. Kill Daughter. So I'll actually go here on the right. Put the Over Wonder down. Play the Cloaking Dongle here. Um, and Zap will give us one, two, three, four. And this will give us two. You know what? I think we kill, um, kill one, two, three, four, and just deal two damage here. So go one, two. Reap, do that, we'll deal two damage here. I don't we're not we're not forging a key here. No way. So I draw another card. Yeah, capture observing max, there it is. I knew we were in Forge in there. Uh, we do have tribute, so we can stop whatever this pushes. Well, we'll call Saurian. And we do just kind of have to say yes. Um, so first things first is we get the Shrix down next to the Kinkin. And then we get this down to the Reader Gallum. We'll remove these two. And... Um, tribute. Say yes. And then we capture one. So that's one, seven. Okay, yeah. We forge, we spent all the amber on Shrix, we forge red. Then we library Apollosaurus over here. Then we get anything. We could get tertiate. Kind of okay taking tertiate here. We tertiate. If we tertiate, we get to checks. We can kill this and um. I don't want Fission Bloom, just a bunch of archives. They don't have answers in they don't have answers in logos. I think we just kill both of these. We kill three creatures, we kill uh, this, this, and you.
We go up to seven. We make them. They have to take a soft check here. I don't know how many capture icons they have left. Make an essence scale, kill a Lyco Fiend. Okay, they can fight the Shrix with the Cinder. It's kind of spooky. I don't know if they have enough. I don't, I don't actually know if they have enough to keep us off here. They keep playing like they do. There's a Lyco Fiend. They can Essence Scale. To steal one, take us into six. Oh, they have um, they have waking nightmare. Sure, they haven't. Yeah, they probably have waking nightmare here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but they can't. Yeah. Okay, so key cast will go up. So here we call logos. Um, so first we data forge. Um, then we play thorium plasmate. Um, let's put you. Left. Play the Replicator, play the Hapsis, play the Edai, Archive the Imperium, Void our Edai. We will not fetch drones. Um, pass it back to them. We got another Edai and a Tauto Vapors. So they have to go back into dis. If they have a if they have another waking nightmare, it's gonna be wild. Mindfire didn't steal one, it can't steal one in this hand. You would have held the data for it? That's actually a good point, Joe. Yeah, that's actually a fair point. Because I guess Data Forge is genuinely a, a wound condition here. I don't think I don't think we can take him off check here now. GG! Wait, what? Oh, wow! <laughs> I wasn't expecting you in there! Wow. I thought they would have enough, but they didn't. Wow. I uh, well, I know. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't say I know better than you, but I, I think in the moment, um, obviously it worked. But I think um, I'm not sure if Data Forge is enough of a win condition there. Whereas the one pip makes it makes their capture pips a little bit worse, and because I know the E die there is probably going to die. Um, the Edai living there is slim, but the Edai living with our other Edai, because um, we kind of have to draw into our Edai plus Tau Tau's, 
to get their key cost up. That's really our only Amber control right now. Our tributes are gone. We could have fetched drones, um, right? Going logos and fetch dronesing would be to, would definitely be a viable thing to do. Um, that I think that is a decision point that is definitely worth looking at and reviewing. Because I don't know if that's quite I don't know if that's quite right or quite wrong. Um, just have to look at it. Obviously, it worked out, but that's was all space analysis, and I try try not try my best not to do that. But. No, those are three. Those are three uh, good games. I'm really happy I won. Uh, obviously, I lost the first match, so I'm happy to come back with a win and the, get the dub in the second. Hopefully, this can continue. Clark is starting to feel a bit more familiar. But, uh, I think I'm getting a much better handle on what Clark's actually doing. It wants to do and um, where to uh, not. You know, be greedy, but not too greedy with the overwonder. What exactly I'm trying to I'm trying to catch with the overwonder. Um, definitely, I'm getting a lot better. Um... Oh, I see. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I see. I I understand what you mean. Yeah. Okay. No, I get that. I'd have to look at that again. I I would have to go look at that turn, um, sort of see how things looked at that point because that might that very well could have been uh, that also could have been an out. Um, this is just a key cheat our way out of the mess we were in. We were certainly lacking a lot of our key um, amber control stuff there at the end. Um, obviously I had another eye on the way in Ted House, but you know, there weren't tributes. Thank you. Yeah, I think um, Clark is shaping up. I, I still, I mean, it's a 94. And obviously, you can do 94 SAS things. Just mostly because the efficiency allows it to do 94 SAS things. Um, and of the the most incredibly satisfying thing is um, Imperial Forging entirely with Amber that's on a Trix. Uh, that is some of the most satisfying key forge moments right there. I know people. I know there are some people who very much dislike Imperial Forge um, because of how broken it is within um, Worlds Clyde Saurian with so much um, it's very, I've never played I've never played versus Jason and I, 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 I don't have much exposure to them um, so thank you. I, I, beating a player always feels even better. So I, w I will certainly relish, relish the win. Um, I, I know that I think the hangout on um, the AC uh, Discord, which I'm not, I'm not on uh, nearly as much as some of the others. But Imperial Forge is awesome. I know! I love Imperial Forge. Um, one of my, well, my, probably my best deck, or one of my favorite decks, uh, Margaret, has um, Imperial Forge in it. They got that with the tricks. And it, the, the, actually, the, the kind of nice thing is this actually plays very kind of semi similarly to one of my favorite decks. Um, obviously, this is a random choice, this is a random give out, because I, I wanted it to be random. Um, but actually plays semi similarly to one of my favorite decks, which I think is um, nice because actually I actually get to learn both decks at once with this setup, so I certainly ain't complaining. But no, that was quite good. Right? Those are those are those are three fun games. Those are pretty quick, so it's nice. Well, I think that's it from me. Um, those are some good games to Keyforge, and I will, uh, yeah, if um, anyone misses this, I will happy this will be going up on my YouTube along with, um, um, I'm having a bit of trouble. I played Anxious Pirate last week for the NKFL, and I've been having, or sorry, uh, Wednesday this week, um, trouble splicing the videos together because I had to get break it broken up, but um, those might go up by two separate VODs, and then um, this will be up shortly, so thanks for coming out. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Sock. Um, I hope everyone has a good night. Hope everyone enjoyed the stream. And I will be catching you all later with some more Keyforge. Tonight I'm playing some D&D &D with some friends. So it should be, a, should be a fun time. Thanks, Doc. I really appreciate that. And uh, hopefully I'm excited for the next Data Forge stream. Uh, whenever that is, and hopefully I can make it to it. So have a good night, everyone. See ya.